right guys so we have started the playlist here for the sanskrit a lot like i did with the kimbag how do you think this is going to be different for you to the kimbag yeah i think this is going to be different because i found myself with, with kimbag right i was actually learning from um how was i learning this year I was learning, I, f I found a tape I liked, yeah, a video, yeah, I found a video with words, yeah, and pronunciations, they even went on to Icelandic, you know, that I really liked, and then, and then how else was you learning it, so, I was coming on the camera, I was doing it with you, I was, I was doing my titles, yeah, I was doing, doing like my titles by translator, so I was learning in this way, and then I was learning from doing as well, yeah. So I still speak, yeah. I still speak Kim Kimraig. And uh, yeah, I, I still use these words, yeah, in my daily life, yeah. Um, you know, you know, like this, yeah. So that's how I was learning Kimraig. And I loved it. It helped me to become closer to my mother, to my, my father now, and, and even... And my feminine energy, yeah, and motherly love now. Myself, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sanskrit gonna help me like that. It's where does this come from, yeah? Is there a translator for this online? There is no um Google Translate for Sanskrit, alright? There's there's no translate for this. Why is that? Why is that? Do a lot of people speak it? Yeah, people do still speak this, alright? They absolutely do. Um, It's coming up as Hindu, yeah? Um, Talking about stuff like cows, yeah, this week. Alright. Well, this is an Indo-Aryan... This is an Indo-Aryan language, yeah? This is a gypsy language. Oh, <laughs> oh, the real thing tonight, you know, guys, I felt that. This a gypsy language, all right? Yeah. How do you identify, Luna? <laughs> identify in this way, yeah? Um... And also where it's from and and what I've been studying for the Vedic astrology yeah I've been I've been studying a, a very very particular chart yeah yeah I've actually been studying the North Indian chart that's actually what I've been studying was the difference between the North and the South well so far I know in it it just depends what is it the layout's different yeah but depends what, what what you really go for yeah you're going to use the north one if you want to learn the north one south one if you want to learn the south one but i have started to use the north one and i have found other charts here related to this i do feel like you're going to take naturally to this language yeah man absolutely all right how else do you think this is going to be different for you learning it so as you can see i put an image here yeah, on the last video i put out um sneha yeah i think it says sneha well listen there's, there's probably loads of videos online when it comes to this when i did kim Rai, yeah i did learn to I'm hearing you're beautiful, yeah? That's what I'm hearing. <laughs> I think you're lovely. So I'm actually hearing you're beautiful around me, yeah? Um, When it comes to, to the Kimrig, I did actually write this. Yeah, I was, I was writing this as well. But you understand, a lot of the letters, yeah? 
a lot of these letters are, you know, they, yeah, we, we, we would say like Latin even, yeah. Like English letters and symbols, yeah. Now we're getting into some fucking symbology, guys. Because now, this language is, is written differently. <laughs> so now I'm going to be starting to write a language, a native language of mine, that is um completely different yeah yeah when it comes to symbols you see yeah how are you with symbols very very good very very good i can interpret symbols um i can interpret symbols like i, I can interpret names guys but i learn these things in different ways you see what i'm saying I can interpret symbols well. Um, so I'm going to be writing this, yeah. Yeah, this is different from A's and B's and C's. You know what I mean? This is different. Um, completely different, yeah. What else can I say about the Sanskrit so far? I'm proud of myself for doing this, yeah. Um, how else am I going to be learning this really, yeah? I think I'm going to be drawn to... So, so when it when it came to all right, comprehension, yeah, I was mainly drawn to this uh, when it came to my mother's language. My father's language now. I seem to be more drawn to to certain words. So like love, yeah. I went to love first. Yeah. So this is this is a manifestation in a completely different way. And I was a bit nervous about learning it before, yeah. But is it gonna be hard? Uh this ain't gonna be hard. And and pronunciation, yeah. Like, I was a bit worried about pronunciation when it came to Kimrai. Why? Because I was a little worried about this around my mother as well. Do you know what I mean? Um, that was just something I was worried about. Yeah, yeah, having, um, you see in the automation, yeah. B body dysmorphia, yeah, I was worried about this. I was worried about this, like, my movement, my speech, um, and my looks, yeah all my life yeah all right the developed body dysmorphia in the home all right that's where i developed it um so when it comes to my father now so so yeah the kimberly like, helped me to feel closer to my mother you see and that was amazing for me and still is it still is all right comforts me but my father now i'm hearing well done yeah and well done my father now yeah this uh feeling like the anger here dis disappearing from me too um certain words yeah 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 when it comes to pronunciation yeah i ain't worried about being able to pronounce this <laughs> I feel like you think you're going to be speaking this fluently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm going to the words that I like, first and foremost. That's what's going to be happening. All right? Yeah, I'm not just looking up, like, how to say hello. Yeah, no, no, no. You see, I was drawn to love first. Love at first sight, innit? That's what I was drawn to. Um... So this is this is embracing my feminine energy when it comes to the relationship with my father and, and, and my roots. But I know I can speak this language and I know I'm gonna be writing this language. Um I can <laughs> I can absolutely speak it, yeah, I'm sure I'm sure of it. I am I'm, I'm not worried about that. But writing it, yeah writing it's going to be interesting all right guys 
So, so there's a playlist now, yeah. All right, for these Sanskrit videos. And I uh, want to talk to you about how they're affecting me, yeah, as I'm going on this journey. All right, <laughs> enough love.